Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Topps Chrome Formula One. This is Hobby Edition, random team break number 14. 10 spots, everyone gets a random team, which is comboed up with an F2 team as well. Big thanks to Joshua and Jeff for getting in on this one. And there are the teams and the combos right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize. Names and teams, three and a three, six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. So we got a bunch of Joshua's down to Jeff. Six times, three and a three, six of the hard way for the teams. Two, three, four, five, and good luck, sixth and final time. After six, we've got McLaren on top and Renault on the bottom. All right, Joshua, you have all the teams except for Renault. Jeff, you have Renault and that F2 team right there, high-tech Grand Prix. Let's sort by column A, or uh, by column B, that is, alphabetically, by team. And uh, I guess unless, Joshua, if you're watching, you really wanted Renault, I suppose, but we'll give it a few moments for that. We'll keep the video running here. Maybe not. All right, TWC trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. Later, Joe. All right, Jesse, I'll see you in How's it going? Go Lakers tonight. Yeah, that's right, go Lakers. THT's back. All right, let's get that list printed out. Here's the final printout, hot off the presses. Thanks everyone. Or thanks Joshua and Jeff for getting in. Thanks everyone for watching. Appreciate that. Man, I need a knife. There we go. So what box is this? I randomly grabbed box two from the back. All card ship, obviously. And uh, and I would say that with, with, with how, how the values of this have been going up, it's probably worth probably looking up almost every single card that you get, especially for the drivers because you never know what, that, what the value is gonna be. We obviously know that the values of the top drivers are Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen are, are, are going to always be pretty good, but I think it'd be worth looking at the other ones too, especially if they're one of the younger Formula One drivers coming up the ranks. There's Max Verstappen right there. And I guess there might be some value in, in holding on to some of these, uh, maybe even some of the F2 drivers as well. They may be F1 drivers someday. And there's a Lewis Hamilton Formula One award winners refractor. What a race for him in Brazil. Actually, just rewatched that last night. It's pretty great. It's Pierre Gasly for AlphaTauri. Tari. 
refractor for him. And there's some Verstappen Grand Prix winner cards. There's more Lewis Hamilton. Max Verstappen base card. Verstappen Max attack. And if there's George Russell. That's his rookie card right there, and he'll be he'll be on a Mercedes next year, if I'm not mistaken. And that's his rookie card right there too. It's kind of crazy to think that Lewis Hamilton is uh, kind of on the older side. He's like 36 years old. So the, the, the new generation of drivers, I mean, we have to start looking out for them. Take it there's no F3. There is an F3, Mike Tower. I think it, I don't know if there's an F4. It, it may go down to F4. I don't know about F4. But there may be... But they're just like lower, they're lower divisions, different engine sizes, and obviously F3 is not as well publicized. There's Sean Galil to 399. Yeah, F3 is all minivans. I don't know if good. Does it go down to F4? I don't think so. It might actually. Yeah, I think there is an F4. All Mini Coopers? No, I think. I mean, I think at the formula levels, they're all. They're all like these Formula One cars, but obviously like smaller engine sizes and not as much of the technology, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But I mean, it's kind of like, it's sort of like Xfinity for NASCAR or like the smaller racing circuits in NASCAR, you know, because you can't just throw most people into an F1 car, even as talented of a, a driver they may be. You can't just throw them in there and then have them. There's Max Verstappen Refractor, Grand Prix Refractor. You know, and then just expect him to, to, to drive. What's up, TJ? Oh, Rosario saying there's also a Formula E, which is all electric. Another Lewis Hamilton right there. All of those are going to Joshua, by the way. Uh, we haven't seen any significant Renault cards yet for Jeff. But yeah, like a lot of these racing sports, there's a lot of, uh, there's Valtteri Bottas, 70th anniversary orange for Mercedes. But there's a lot of just different circuits that you, that you end up, a lot of ladders and tiers to climb. Lando Norris and his McLaren. I think there is a Mini Cooper racing circuit, though. I mean, it's probably racing for a lot, for a lot of things. There may even be minivan racing somewhere out there. All right, no autographs, nothing too crazy here. A lot of Grand Prix cards uh, for Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen. But we did see, you know, like if we find like refractor versions of this, those could be pretty huge. They're, they're pushing, you know, $1,000 raw from what we saw. And that was before, before Lewis Hamilton had that big win in, in Brazil. So who knows, the market could have gone up on that as well. If, you, if those grayed out nicely, even better, so on and so forth. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching and breaking with us. Uh, we've got more Formula One in the store. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.